first of all, uh, thank you for coming. We have with us our head coach, Mr. Gautam Gambhir, and the chairman of the selection committee, Mr. Ajita Gakka. Before we continue, I request you all to put your phones on silent. Uh, if you wish to ask a question, please raise your hand and please let us know who the question is directed to and the concern that we see in address the answer. Um, please put your phones on silent. We'll take one question at a time. Please raise your hands. Who wants to go first? Please. Ajit, sir, can you just take us uh, about the I mean, why Surya was made the captain? Uh, because he's one of the deserving candidates. Yeah. One, one we know we've been now, I've been around the group over the last year. You get feedback from the dressing room a lot. Uh, he got a good cricket brain. He's still one of the best T20 batters in the world. One of the main issues, of, obviously, was uh, you want a captain that's going to, or likely to play, all the games. I mean, we, we think he's a deserving candidate, and uh, hopefully we'll see over time uh, how he develops into the role. But uh, as regards to Hardik, uh, I mean, as look, he's, he's still a very important player for us. He, and that's what we want him to be that player that he can be, because those sorts of skill sets are very difficult to find what he has. Uh, fitness obviously has been a challenge for him over the last few years, and that, that you know, then then it becomes a little bit more difficult for, say, a coach or you know, even us as selectors. When you're trying to now, we've got a bit more time till the next T20 uh, World Cup where we can we can look at a few things. It's not not rushed at the moment, and uh, we want him to be, you know, as like I said, he's an important player for us, and hopefully his performances are more important. And uh, that was the thought behind it. Yeah, I mean, the fitness is a clear challenge, and we want we want something who's someone who's likely to be available. More often than not, and uh, look again. After saying all that, we think Surya has got the got the necessary uh, you know necessary qualities that uh, you need to succeed as a captain. Uh, Ajit, sir, in your uh, tenure as uh, this selection, two vice captains have been put together. Uh, Ashik obviously, and uh, K. S. Rahul. Is it not the, the logical? Thank you. You want to answer the first one? Yeah, I wasn't there when KL was superseded. So it wasn't me. Uh, no, I wasn't selected then, firstly. And uh, I just explained the reasons behind uh, what we're looking at. We've got a little bit more time now till the. Since I've come, there's been a 50 over World Cup, almost followed by the T20 World Cup at that point. We've, we've seen, and like I said, you know, fitness is a concern. Not just that. I mean, I th we also feel that Surya has the necessary qualities to to be a good captain. Hopefully, uh, we see that over time. That is, two years is a long time, so at least it gives us a bit more of a chance to try and look at some things differently. Uh, and the main thing is, uh, we want uh, guys who are available all the time. Yeah? And in this way, we we also feel we can manage Hardik a little bit better, because, like I said, he's an important player for us. Uh, we've seen even in this World Cup when you. You know, his performances, both with the bat and the ball, are important. And that is more important to the team than uh, anything else. Yeah. So, yeah, we speak to every player, yeah, whether, I mean, he's been part of the team anyway. It's not like he's been left out. So, no, we speak to every player, well, if their roles are changed, and uh, yeah, he's been spoken to. So, from my point of view, pretty simple. I think uh, important is to give players the freedom. I think that's what I absolutely believe in, and not have a relationship which is of a head coach and a player. I think for me, I think the best relationship is a relationship which is built on trust, and that is going to be very important. I can, I can promise guys that I think the most important thing for me is that they will always have my back, and I've always said that a happy dressing room is a winning dressing, room and happy and secure dressing room. So that's my responsibility alongside the entire support staff to make it a happy and a secure dressing room. And uh, that's about it. I think, uh, for me, I think I don't complicate too many things, and neither do I want to complicate, because one thing we need to be clear that I think I'm taking over a very, very successful team, a T20 world champion. I think uh, runner-ups in World Test Championship and runner-ups in 50 over World Cup. So it's not that it's not a successful team. So yes, I think it's big shoes to fill, but then looking forward to it. Can you tell us about your 
Indian children will send their children to the shower. How will this entire appointment came to be? Can you explain us? Well, I think I've got a fabulous relationship with Mr. Jay Shah. I think uh, we go a long way back, and all these speculations about different things, even on different pages. I think all this, I think we can do a better job from probably clarifying those things rather than putting it in the press because we go a long way back and uh, so far I think it's been, it's been a great relationship. Hopefully it continues that way because the betterment of Indian cricket is more important. Gautam Gambhir is not important. I think uh, if all of us have a heart in the right place and if we all of us think that Indian cricket needs to move forward, for that, I think all of us are on the same page. So, really enjoyed so far working with him, and hopefully, I can continue the same in the future as well. Uh, I don't know if you can answer this, of course. Uh, as players, uh, both of you suffered from selectoral apathy at times as bounced by Mahesh Bhutti. Uh, in this case, uh, you know, players like Sanju, Abhishek, and Ruku uh, being, uh, being uh, uh, omitted from certain sports. Were they spoken to and, you know, how, how would you put his arm around their shoulder? Because they would obviously feel a little bit hard done by. I mean, every player who's left out feels hard done by. It's, I mean, our challenge is to pick only 15. You try and get the best balance possible. So someone's likely to miss out. Uh, sometimes they've had some decent performances uh, in recent times. But you've got to see who's picked ahead of them. I mean, are those guys not deserving of their place. If that's the thing, then we, there is things to discuss. But at this stage, I mean, uh, we had an opportunity to give some of those guys, you know, a go in the Zimbabwe series, which was good. So we have enough depth if tomorrow there's loss of form from the players that are playing or there are injuries. But it's, it's tough. I think it's, I mean, Rinku, for no fault of his missed out from the World Cup. You know, it's, it's an example. He, he, he had a terrific uh, T20 leading up to the World Cup. But it's sometimes just the way it goes. Unfortunately for us as well, uh, it's difficult to fit everyone in the 15th. Uh, and uh, as tough as it is for the player, that's, that's generally a life of a player. Yeah? That's why when you get an opportunity, you try and put up performances. So as soon as somebody who's ahead of you is not quite up to the mark or doesn't, or there's an injury there, you're ready to pick. And you could take a lot of names. You've taken three names, but there are a lot of names. Uh, and it's tough on them, but uh, that's just the reality. Yeah? We can only pick 15. Yeah, I think it would, would have been really, I mean, pointless to take both him and Akshar for this short series. Uh, we know what Jaddu's done. He's had a terrific World Cup, a 50-over World Cup. So, uh, no, not at all dropped. I think uh, all options are open, but there was, either of them wouldn't have played all three games if we'd taken both. That was the thing. There's a big test season coming up where he's likely to feature in a lot of the tests out of that. So, uh, I don't think three games would have mattered. I think we probably should have clarified that after the selection that... He's, he's not been dropped. Uh, he's, he's still within the scheme of things and uh, very important as a player. I have a question from this side. Yeah. I have a question from uh, Deepak. Uh, so, uh, you mentioned that uh, you were uh, five times in the net of uh, less than 12 months now, you were going to play 10 in the world test matches and uh, uh, the captain as well. Uh, how do you balance it out by starting? That would have always been a challenge because when you take over in all the three formats, and uh, more importantly, that after the Sri Lanka tour, we got a long break, we got a month break, and then we've got 10 test matches. I think that's, that's not bad because then you're playing continuously those 10 test matches with a big tour of Australia coming up as well. But then again, I think that's what, that is what challenge is all about. And uh, more importantly, really excited about it. And uh, hopefully, uh, Hopefully we can do really well in those 10 test matches and the chairman has already said it that uh, some of the players who did miss out on this tour to Sri Lanka because there are 10 test matches and someone like Ravindra Jadeja is very important for all those 10 test matches. So yes, I think uh, really looking forward to all those 10 test matches. Sajid, uh, you mentioned the reasons for looking beyond the captain. You were not around personally when he was handed over the charge, but some of the members were formed. So in that sense, uh, uh, was it a Nilan's decision to kind of look at other options and 
what signal does it send to a larger official that you can't do it? Yeah, I don't think any any player takes it for granted anyway. I mean, every time you try and play, your place is on the line, you want to perform. I mean, these discussions don't happen overnight. We, we sort of discussed them through the last few months uh, leading up to the World Cup as well. So, I mean, these chats had happened before as well. And, uh, you know, it's not an overnight thing where you just decide that someone should be captain or shouldn't be captain. There's obviously a lot of thought goes in. You get a lot of feedback from the dressing room as well. Uh, what What sort of qualities that you're looking for uh, and, I mean, the biggest thing is that captain should be on the park more often than not. I mean, that's that's a prerequisite, really. Uh, and hopefully, uh, you know, Surya uh, does that. And so far, there's never been a concern with his T20 batting anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Look, no, I think uh, they've shown what they can deliver on the big stage, whether it was the T20 World Cup and the 50-over World Cup as well. See, one thing I can be very clear of, I think uh, both those guys have got a lot of cricket left in them. And more importantly, with Champions Trophy and a big tour of Australia, obviously they would be motivated enough because, and then hopefully if they can keep their fitness, 2027 World Cup as well. But this is a very personal decision. I can't say how much cricket is left in them. Ultimately, it's up to them as well. It's up to the players. How much can they contribute in the team's success? Because ultimately, it's the team that is important. But looking, looking at what Virat and Rohit can deliver, I think they still have a lot of cricket. And they're still world-class players. And obviously, any team would want to have both of them for as long as possible. I, I didn't uh, quite hear the question properly. I, I, I heard. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Where does that Yeah, I mean, Rishabh's been out for a long time. Yeah. We need to get him back playing. That's the first thing. He's, he's going to be a key to us as a player. Uh, hasn't had a lot of cricket, so we've seen what he can do in international cricket. He's won test series almost off his own bat. So we want him back playing. I think that's, that's the first thing. You don't want to burden somebody again who's just coming back after, what, over a year out of the game. Uh, KL, uh, yeah, look, I mean, KL's not been part of T20 now for a little while. Uh, Again, like I said, you you look at the, some of the feedback that you get. We've we've got we've got a chance to reset the button a little bit. We've got a bit more time to plan. You want to try and see. I mean, this time T20, frankly, when Hardik did get injured, was was a little bit of a challenge. At that point, Rohit wasn't playing. And Rohit was still around, made our life a lot easier that he could come and lead. We don't want that situation uh, going forward again. Uh, Shubman's the guy that we we feel again as he's a three-format player. Firstly. Uh, and uh, seems to show a lot more qualities over the last year or so that we uh, hear from the dressing room. And uh, that's why we want to try and have somebody who can also learn from a couple of the senior guys that are there, Surya in this instance, or Rohit who's still around. Uh, so we don't uh, face the same challenges as suddenly trying to look for a captain in case there, is, there are injuries or loss of form, form somewhere. So that's, that's the idea. Again, he's shown some decent leadership qualities and we want to try and get him the experience that uh, that he can going forward. And that's the thought. There are no guarantees in life, but at, at, the, at this point, that's the thought. Uh, I have one question for Ajit. Uh, uh, Rishabh Pant, ever since his return, he's mainly played T20 cricket. So how did you play his performance? Or how did you like take a call of uh, leaving Sanju Samson out of ODI and then playing Pant as the second wicket keeper for the first? And for Gautam, you're someone who advocated for players to consistently play all matches uh, instead of picking and choosing. Uh, so going forward, how do you uh, look forward to managing the likes of say, Rohit, Kohli, or even Bumrah, who often tend to uh, 
manage their workloads and miss out on assignments? Look, I've said it before that workload management for someone like just be Boomerah is important. But for a batter, if they can play consistently, if they're in good form, might as well just play all the games. And with now Rohit and Virat not playing T20 cricket, they only have two formats to look after. So I'm sure they're going to be available for most of the most of the games. But yes, for Jasmeet Bumrah, because he's one rare kind of a bowler which anyone would want. So it's our responsibility to try and have him fresh for most of the important games. That's why workload management, not only for Jasmeet Bumrah, but for most of the fast, fast bowlers, becomes really, really important. Uh, with regards to Rishabh, I mean, he, before his unfortunate uh, accident, I mean, he's he's been a key player for us. Yeah. So now that he's back, like I said, you want to get him around the group again, playing again. So KL has been terrific in one-day cricket. Uh, we've seen he's, he had a great World Cup as well. So, yeah, unfortunately, someone had to miss out. And in this instance, it was uh, Sanju. It's, look, these guys will have to keep getting runs, keep performing. Otherwise, you know there is another quality player waiting uh, big test season coming up. We, we obviously feel these two will have a huge role to play, and to get Rishabh playing again, just you know, he's, like you said, he's only played T20 cricket. To get him uh, 50 over will be another step forward. Uh, hopefully, he can keep building on what he's what he's uh, done so far. See, this is going to be the crux of the support stuff. But then, as I said, that we still have one month after the Sri Lanka tour. Obviously, we'll try and finalize after the Sri Lanka tour. But importantly, yes, I've worked with people like Ryan. I've worked with Abhishek very closely in the last two months, especially during the IPL. So obviously, enjoyed working with them. Absolute thorough professionals, both Ryan and Abhishek. Hopefully, they can have a really successful stint with the Indian team. There can't be a bigger, better opportunity. Uh, I think uh, so hopefully, we can have a successful tenure as, as coaches and uh, really looking forward to working with the rest of the other guys as well. I've had some really good feedback uh, from the players about the other guys as well. So really looking forward to working with most of them. My experience or my learning has been very simple. In a sport, it's all about winning. So I, I don't deviate from something like that. Because we are in a profession where ultimately there can only be one winner. And we try and play fair, we try and play hard. And more importantly, we try and come back in a winning dressing room. And a happy dressing room. And a happy dressing room is a winning dressing room. So very simple. See, I think I don't like complicating things. And that's, what I, that's the kind of profession I'm in. And hopefully we can continue that way. Ultimately, it's the player's team. So post off is there to try and maximize and try and get the max, maximum out of their potential, make them express the way they want to, give them a lot of freedom, and more importantly, try and make them happy as well. Because sometimes international cricket can be tough, can be insecure as well, because only 15 can play. But more importantly, it's the job of the support staff to try and keep them in, in a happy space. And that is going to be one thing which we definitely will be working forward. Sorry, specialist, I didn't. Are you looking to have, uh, planning to have a specialized team for all three different formats? And uh, could they have named Richard for the See, eventually going forward, these things happen. Like, for example, Virat and Rohit and Ravindra is not there in T20. So it will happen. But can't say right now that they're going to be three different teams. I think uh, T20 will obviously go through a transition with three uh, seriously good players, world class players. Retiring from T20 format, but yes, in 50 overs and test cricket, I'm sure I think the more consistent we can be, the better it is going to be. The more players who can play both the formats, it is always better for any team. So that's my opinion. I think chairman can give his opinion. And that's what I feel. Yeah, I think on the same page, really. I mean, you don't decide having three different teams. If you've got players who can play all three formats, then you include them, yeah, because that means they're quality players. So uh, it's just to try and find the best balance for the format that you're playing, whether that means it's the same players across three formats or, or different.
It's just uh, what works for the team at this point. Uh, you can already see. I mean, there are enough players who are good enough to play all three formats, and that's the case. You just I don't I don't think it's anything's pre-decided. Eventually, you try and pick the best 15. Uh, no, we haven't discussed Surya at this point. In Odia, we've you know, Shreyas is back, KL is back. They've had great World Cups. Rishabh uh, is back as well. So there is, there is some real quality through that uh, middle order. Uh, so no, I think at, at this point, uh, Surya has been is a T20 player. Take last few questions. Coming back. Have you had most of the test regulars here? I haven't discussed with uh, Gautam yet. This is the first time we've met, so we have, we've had a few conversations. But we will look. It, it's a, it's not always easy, uh, but there will certainly be enough players out of that squad that are likely to play that first game at least, because that's the only game that they can they can really play that Dulip Trophy game. So. Uh, we'll probably sit down and discuss which guys really need to play, and uh, it's it's always nice just for the competition as well. If uh, all your top players come and play, it's not always easy with such a packed and a long season. So it's uh, sometimes tough for the players to you know if they have a week off somewhere to make them uh, do that. But uh, we'll try and uh, see what we can do, and uh, there will be certainly some players out of that squad that will be playing. Last two questions. No, really happy with BCCI. They've agreed to most of the things what I've asked for. So I was surprised when I was reading all those news. But yes, uh, as I just mentioned before, I think the crux the, of the support staff will remain what it is right now. But then we will finalize once the Sri Lanka tour is over. Yes, Abhishek as assistant coach, Ryan Tendish Kathe as assistant coach, I personally feel I think uh, there could be assistant coaches who can probably involve themselves more in all the three departments rather than just focusing on one. And uh, that is the reason why we now have uh, two assistant coaches as well. And uh, that is the way we got to go forward as well. But yes, you're, you'll get to know the exact support staff once the Sri Lanka tour is over. Yeah, Abhishek Nair is there. Sahiraj Bautule is there. Dilip is there. And uh, Ryan Tendeshkata is going to join in Kalam. Yeah. Yeah, good for the TRP, but my relationship is not public. What kind of a relationship do I share with Virat Kohli? I think it's between two mature individuals on the field. Everyone has got the right. I've said it many times before. Everyone has got the right to fight for their own team, for, for their own jersey, and want to come back in a winning dressing room. But at the moment, I think uh, we're representing India and representing 140 crore Indians. And I'm sure we're going to be on the same page and try and make India proud. And I share a very good relationship of the field, and we'll continue to do that. But yes, to make it more public, that. What kind of a relationship? I think it's between two individuals. You have had chats with him. I've had a lot of chats with him, but sometimes. Sorry. No, we shared uh, messages. I think it's not important what we discuss. How many chats have I had with him after my announcement or before my announcement or during the games, after the game? I think sometimes just just because we want headlines, it's it's not important right now. The most important thing right now is that. We both are got to be working extremely hard to make India proud, and that's our job. He's a thorough professional. He's a world-class athlete. He's a world-class player. I've always said that. I've got huge respect for him as a player, and uh, it's going to continue that. Way. And hopefully, we can work together really well. Absolute final question. So. I mean, again, like I said, I've met him for the first time. We'll sit down and have a few chats. But you more or less know who your guys are. Uh, there are a few injuries at the moment. Some of the guys, some of the fast bowlers are at the NCA. We hope that over the next month or so, 
they'll be back up playing where shami is at uh, i think he started to bowl which is a which is a good sign for us and what it's 19th uh, 19th september is the first test that was always the goal if you can there you know around then if you can get fit we don't quite know whether that's the timeline at the moment i'll have to speak to the guys at the nca but that's the aim but uh, yeah i mean that is that is a discussion because there's so many tests coming in india maybe maybe you don't play three guys uh, in the 11 three seamers in the 11 but uh, going forward there's a there's a lot of cricket uh, or test cricket that's coming there so we'll need we'll need some depth i mean bumrah siraj shami have been around for a while which which are the obvious ones but we we'll need some depth and there'll be some conversations around it but we we we've, we've got some talent and hopefully we've got a lot of first class cricket coming up so you can build guys up and we'll have to get get to have a look at some of the other guys as well so uh, that's that's a conversation we'll start having now okay thank you thank you gentlemen thank you i have one photo